What's going on second grade is Mr. Hunter here. I'm here with your second grade history lesson for today. Uh, we're jumping back into history and we're going to be talking about something pretty cool today and pretty important. Uh, we're going to be talking about immigrants. All right. We all think we know what immigrants mean. I'm sorry, I'm fixing my screen there. We all think we know what immigrants mean. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your book. You're going to be on page 138 to 143. And I'm going to explain something to you guys about immigrants and the, some of the some of the advantages, some of the blessings that we have by being able to live in America. If you look back here, these are some of the vocabulary words that we have for today. We have immigrant, island, Europe, Guam, Norway, Puerto Rico, Sweden, territories, Ireland, Hawaii, Germany, Virgin Islands, Asia, and American Samoa. These are the different places we're going to talk about. And why are we talking about these places? Well, these are places that are all over the world that other people came to live, uh, that other people came from to live here in America. Um, there's some things that we have here in America that other people don't have. We, got, we get to worship God. We get to go to any school we want to um, as far as if, it, if they are a Christian school, if it's a non-Christian school. You don't have to uh, believe in God, but you can read the Bible. There's some other freedoms that you have. You can get an education. Women can vote. Um, black and white, we can do. Um, there's a lot of freedoms for every different person. It does not matter. But guess what? You know how that is called a reality for us in America? For some other countries, that is a dream. So America really has given us a lot of advantages, and it's really been trying to do that for years, but some people still don't have those same privileges. Everybody say privilege. It's a privilege to be able to do some of the things we're doing. It's a privilege to be able to talk to you guys about God. We can't do that in other schools. So I want you guys to think about that while we're talking about these people today. All right, those are your vocabulary words. We're going to dive deeper a little bit more. Uh, we're going to talk about this. If you know anybody, maybe that's a family friend or or maybe, maybe your parents or somebody, they're from a different country. Why don't you ask your parents about where they're from and some of their history and some of the things that they do differently in their culture, okay? All of us live here in California. We live in Los Angeles. Even though Mr. Hunter wasn't born in Los Angeles and I was born on the East Coast in Washington, D.C., guess what? I still have some of the same things that you guys have because we still live in America. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States of America. So there are still some things that are similar that we all get to do. But other people in other countries, they live life differently. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So you should be on page 138, 139. Your pictures should look just like that in your book. All right, mine looks a little bit different because it's the teacher's edition, all right? So let's jump in. It says the new Americans, all right? By 1840, America was growing fast. To people from other countries, America sounded like a place where their dreams could come true. Hundreds of thousands of people left their countries to become new Americans. They were called immigrants. So how many people did they say left? Hundreds of thousands of people. They left their own countries to come to America. So America was such a good place. People were willing to leave their own country to come here. These people were called immigrants. An immigrant, listen carefully, an immigrant is a person who leaves his own country to make his home in another country. So everybody listen to that. I know you may hear the word immigrant a lot, but I want you guys to think about this. An immigrant is a person who leaves his own country to make a home in another country. So if you guys were to leave America and you were to go to Australia, you were to go to China, you were to go to somewhere else, you would be an immigrant. Even though you're American, you would be an immigrant. All right, let's keep reading. Most Americans, most new Americans came from countries in Europe. Oh, that's a vocabulary word. People from England, Holland, Norway, Sweden, Ireland, and Germany. And guess what? And other European countries came all the way to America to find a new home. So people were coming from everywhere. Other, other people came from South America and Asia. But no matter where they came from, they all became Americans. So no matter where they came from, Everybody that came to America became Americans. These new Americans were proud to call America their home. So look at the picture down at the bottom. You see all these different colors of people, right? All these different types of people at the bottom there. Doesn't matter what they look like. They all came from different places. Africa, Asia, Europe, South America. They all came to the United States. And guess what? This was their new home. Now, remember, the people that were coming from Africa they had a different situation. Remember, they were called slaves. So some of these people were coming on their own. The people that were coming from Africa were actually brought here 
and they necessarily didn't want to come. They were forced to come. So some people that came to America were looking for good things to change, and the people that were coming from Africa actually had a different story, all right? So let's turn the page. All right. The page on 146 says, the dreams of new America. Everybody say dreams, all right? The new Americans, the people that came here, guess what? They left their own country. Now, do you think they came here because they wanted the same life? No, they probably came here because they wanted a better life. So let's see what we're talking about. So each immigrant had a dream he hoped would come true, he or she hoped would come true in the United States. What were some of those dreams? Well, number one, freedom to worship God. Wow, you see that church there? You see how people are outside? All of us, me and you, like I said before, we can have chapels, we can listen, you can listen to my Bible lesson, and guess what? We're not gonna get in trouble for it. I can serve the word Jesus. I can say Jesus, 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 Jesus. I can say it as many times as I want to, and nobody's gonna arrest me. But do you know that in other countries, that's not true. In other countries, you say that word, you may get in trouble. If you call Jesus' name, if you have a Bible, if you're reading a Bible, if you're found to be reading and studying God's word, you can go to jail. That's really sad. We have to pray for those people in those places. All right. So they came for the freedom to worship. They came for jobs to earn money. Look at that. That man's working right there. And look at that. So they're down there. So that man's working. So jobs in America, we had better jobs. We had more money for jobs. So if you had a family, you probably could make more money for your family, right? Pretty great. All right. Let's look at this. And then, look at that, guys. That's like a student, just like you. They came for an education for every child. So in some places, they didn't have enough money. You had to pay for school. And some people didn't have enough money to go to a certain school. Some other situations where you could only send one child to school. Um, so if you have five kids, only one got to go. So in America, everybody was able to go. And the education at that time was free. All right, let's look over here. The dream of owning land or a house. Remember our friend Daniel Boone, how he left? He left Virginia and traveled through the hills of Kentucky and ended up in Kentucky, but he was traveling because he wanted more room. We talked about the buffaloes, the cowboys, everybody traveling. This was the same for people that were new Americans that were traveling here from different countries. They wanted the dream of owning land. They wanted a house. They wanted their family to have a lot of room and be able to grow. So that's why America was a really big place that everybody wanted to come to. And then at the end, the last one, this is important because you and I, we have food to eat. We have things to clothe our body, but some people don't have that luxury. So it says the dream of enough food to keep from starving. There's so many people in the world that are struggling right now. They don't have food for their children. They don't have food for themselves. There are kids right now who don't have fresh water. We drink, I drink, Mr. Hunter, I drink like three or four water bottles one day just by myself. And there's some people who don't have one water bottle. I know I'm blessed and I feel really bad for that. And hopefully I'll be able to help out in some way someday. But just think about that, right? You guys are truly blessed. Those of you, you've been able to go swimming. You may have a pool. A friend of yours has a pool. You may ride a bike outside. There's some people that don't have shoes and we are able to do those things, right? Doesn't that make you feel, feel good and feel blessed, right? And doesn't that make you want to pray for those people? So let's, let's pray about them. Let's talk about that on Wednesday in our Zoom class, all right, tomorrow. Okay, the dream to keep, of enough food to keep from starving. Some of these dreams came true right away. And then the United States, everybody can worship God in the way he wants. And every child can go to school. Other dreams, they took years of hard work. If the immigrants, some of the immigrants could not speak English, they had to learn English. Why? Because they lived in America. They had to find jobs. And then they had to save money to buy food at home. So did everything happen at once? No, it took some time, it took some work, but they were here and they had an opportunity. They had an opportunity to get it done. All right, let's turn the page, let's turn the page. All right, guys, so we're looking here. All right, we're looking here, it says Islanders. This is on page 142. Islanders, there were a lot of people from the islands, not just these uh, continents, not just these countries like Asia, Europe. No, there were more, all right? So let's say Islanders. Our vocabulary words for this one are island, Guam, and Puerto Rico. Other people became Americans without leaving their countries or their homes. These people lived in islands, on islands in the Atlantic Ocean and in the Pacific Ocean. An island, everybody say an island. An island is a piece of land completely surrounded by water. That means it's land in the middle of the water. Nothing else is around it. It's not connected to other land. It's just in the middle of the water. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, several islands became part of America. The islands of Guam, everybody say Guam, Puerto Rico, everybody say Puerto Rico, and then say American Samoa. 
American Samoa. And the three of the Virgin Islands are American territories. Okay, so we have the islands of Guam, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, and three of the Virgin Islands are American territories. These territories are part of our America, even though they are not states. So guess what? These places, they still have some of the same rules as Americans. They follow the same guidelines and laws that we as Americans follow. And we can travel there and we just don't, we just don't have to have a passport or do things like that. I mean, we'll have a passport, but we can get easy clearance um, to go back and forth to it because they're considered U.S. territory. So it's not as hard to go and travel there. They can come to the States without any issue. We can go there without any issue. Okay, now, one of America's island territories, Hawaii, Hawaii did become a state. Hawaii is made up of several islands in the Pacific o Ocean, and it is the only state that is not a part of America, North America. So Hawaii is the only state that is a part of the United States, but it's not connected to the rest of us. Look at where Hawaii is, right? So you look out in the ocean, you see the North and Pacific Ocean, right? Wow, look how much water is there. And then you have Guam as a little island just sitting out there in the middle of the water. How many people want to, want to travel there? Yeah, I'm going to put a picture, I'm going to put a video of Guam, of the American Samoa, and the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico in your video underneath there. So you can see all these different places. They are so beautiful. They're islands, they're amazing to travel to. And guess what? They're part of the United States. So all of these places are where different types of people came. We have the people that came from Europe and Asia, and they had to work and build homes. And then you have people that, these people didn't have to leave if they didn't want to. They had to stay right there on the island. How many of you would stay on the island? I would stay on the island too, but they are, they're part of America. They're part of the States. And this is the first part of the new immigrants we're talking about. We're gonna talk about a little bit more uh, starting tomorrow, but I'm gonna put those links in your video, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. It's part one. We'll be back tomorrow with part two.